All right, guys, welcome back to the uh, channel. I'm gonna do something a little different today that I normally don't do. Uh, I'm gonna review this Olight Baton Pro. Now, I never really carried a flashlight before. I mean, I'd bring my phone with me. If I needed a flashlight, I'd use the flash on the phone, but I've had this for about three, uh, about a month now, and I've carried it almost every day. Uh, I forgot it at the house a couple of days when I was going to work, but uh, I have used this every day and I'm gonna give a, a, un, a unbiased review on this light. Um, I actually love it, but you never really know how much you need a flashlight until you have one. And then you find all these uses that you never knew you needed. But uh, the light I chose is the uh, Olight Baton Pro. Uh, it's got this kind of like dual clip where you could put this on your baseball cap right here, clip it on like that. Or, you know, you could clip it this way to a little, little bit different kind of you know, the other direction. Um, I mostly carry this thing right here. Carry it in my back pocket everywhere I go. Um, but I, I'm not gonna do a, a unboxing or anything like that. I mean, everybody knows it comes in a box, but what you get is you get this little, uh, little draw type bag. And of course you get the USB charger. Now you can plug this into the wall or a car. And cool thing about Olight is this little magnetic charging port. You just put it like that, sit it up, and it'll charge. Now there is a little clear piece right here. What that clear piece does is when you first plug it in, it turns red. And when it's fully charged, this piece will turn green. Okay? Everybody's self-explanatory. That's how it works. We're going to move on. Probably my favorite feature out of this light is... When I'm, I'm pushing the button right now, it's locked. The light's not coming on. See this little red LED right here? My favorite feature of this is you can lock this. So when I put it in my pocket, I sit on it. It's not coming on. Um, now this is the lockout mode. And I'm gonna, it's daytime right now, but tonight I'm gonna show you what it'll do at night. Nice sucker lights up the world. But uh, so right now it's locked. I can put it in my pocket, sit on it, whatever. Now to unlock it, you just press and hold it, I think for like two seconds, come on, then you let it go. So then you just push it to turn it off and it's not locked anymore, okay? Now, if you wanted to lock it back, what you'll do is you push and hold it till it comes on and then it'll go off and then you let go. And now it's locked again. So that's self-explanatory as well. That's how you lock and unlock it. I keep it locked. Um, now it's on, there's three, there's four, four modes really. There's a, uh, like a little, what they call like a sunlight or a moonlight mode. It's really dim. Now to cycle through the modes, you don't push it. You've got to turn it on and then you push and hold it until it gets to the next brightest one. And then say you want one brighter than that, you push and hold it again. And there's another mode, you push and hold it. It's a little brighter. And then when you want the whole world to light up, it's called turbo mode, you double click it. This sucker right here will light up freaking the night let me tell you um you know it's a cool white um i some people like a yellow light i like the cool white. i like the led the brightness the the pop you know um a yellow light's easier on the eyes for some people but i have found that i just like cool white or bright white um lights to each their own uh, i don't know if they make it in a in a yellow light or not but and also there's another, there's, if you triple click it, it strobes. So that's cool too, I forgot to mention that. But, you know, this, this thing is, I've dropped it, sat on it. I mean, I've, I've, I mean, it's, I mean, I've, I've, I've sit on this, drop it. It's got a few nicks on it here and there, but I mean, it's pretty much like, I'm not gonna go beat anything to death with it, but for, a, for an EDC light, like it's perfect size, it's not too big. It's not too small. Like it's, I can get a good grip on it. You know, I can use this. Like I said, this is magnetic. You can stick it to things, let it hang there. Uh, the gun is unloaded, but I can stick it to the slide. Anything metal, you can stick it to. I mean, so you can go hands free if you're around something something metal. Uh, anyway, that's you know the review is going to be pretty short, but. I do, when it gets dark outside tonight, um, I am gonna take y'all out and show you just how bright this thing will get. But uh, let me take a walk.
to where I'm going to go tonight so you can kind of see the distance that I'm going to be doing the video at. So let me grab this real quick. Sorry, the house is kind of dirty and I got, I got three little mutts out here that love when I come out to play, they think they're going for a ride. But uh, that's my GSP, that's diesel. Be my, my dear dog, I track with him, blood trail. This is Tucker, he'll run rabbits and he tracks too a little bit. And this is Luke, he's just mainly for rabbits. He's too good a rabbit dog to put on deer. Um, Tucker, he was a stray, I found him saved him really but uh sorry if it's windy out here i don't have a mic i don't normally do a lot of videos uh but i'm just trying to get started at this um got old glory flying high up there deer feeder back here little pond hey ain't no big pond ain't i can little neighbor's son come over here and play the train's finna come so i'm gonna shut it off and wait till it passes where you can hear me perfect timing be right back all right she just blew through uh, part of the cons of living next to a train track, you can't really, but it's never woke me up and I don't ever have to go that way. I always come from, from this way, so it ain't like it ever holds me up. But uh, anyway, this is where I'm gonna come out tonight and do the, the videos for y'all to see. Um, I don't know, it's that wood line's probably 30 yards or so. Um, I'll be sure to do a walk around over in here to you can shine up and let you see. But I mean, I'll, I'll be, I mean, here's the feeder. Uh, hell, I'll be way, way back here. That's 40, 40 yards or so. I mean, I can be all the way to this wood line right here and it's gonna light the top of them pines up. I mean, this light is, is unreal. Um, but uh, I, I really don't have much more, you know, to do because I know y'all just want to see it in action. Um, so we'll, we'll get that going tonight. When it gets dark, I'll come out here and uh, we'll get something else going. But uh, it ain't gonna take too long. And, uh, you know it's not a this light is not a um it's not a spotlight it's more of a flood and i do have lights and olight also makes light that, that do put out a spot but this one's more of a flood but uh we'll see that later tonight and uh yeah we'll talk to you then all right nice to settle down son all right there is also one thing that i forgot to mention is this little clip can come off as well I don't know why you'd want it to be off unless you just wanted to carry it in your pocket without being clipped. Um, but I always leave it on. And when I told you it came with the bag and the charger, it also came with a little lanyard thing. You can run it through these holes right here. There, you can run it through that hole and, and hang your lanyard off to put it around your wrist. I don't use that. Um, but I just wanted to mention that real quick. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm out here in the backyard right now. It's, it's pitch black, as you can see. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the modes with the um, with the Olight Baton Pro now. So right now, you see this little red light. It's in locked mode. So I'm gonna push and hold it, and it's gonna unlock. This is moonlight mode. There's my deer feeder. You probably can't see it, but it's it's right here. Okay, this is moonlight mode. It's just perfect for like, you know. If you don't want something bright, you just need to look real quick at something. The next mode up, uh, it's relatively bright. I mean, you're gonna see anything you need to see up close for sure. Uh, there's a little ant hill over there. Now uh, the next mode, I just press and hold it, it'll go up one more. Now this is starting to be able to, you know, see, see things really good. Um, I'm gonna press, it's got one more mode. So this is, you can see the trees and everything now. Now this isn't turbo mode, we still got one more mode. Now you double click it and that's turbo mode, okay? I mean, this is this little light is super bright. Now I'm, see if I can see these trees up here by the house kinda. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is this light gets extremely hot. So turbo mode is not going to last, but I think one minute until it goes a little bit where it's not as bright. But I mean, as you can see up close, the whole world's lit up. I can see top of these trees. Very good, huh? You see old glory hanging up there? I got two lights on that pole that I turn on at night so the flag can be seen, but I turned them off for this video. Um, so 
I mean, you can see how bright this thing is. I mean, it lights up just pretty much the world. I mean, I don't think this video is really doing it justice, but just like between these trees, there's more. I can see 20 yards in the woods right there still. But uh, we'll walk around and uh, I'll lower it one. And this little LED beacon, it's green now. Uh, that means the battery's really good. Um, as, it, as the battery goes down, it turns orange. So orangish yellow, that way, you know, the battery's getting low. I'll take it off turbo mode now. And uh, this will be the third mode right here. Let's do the fourth, okay. This one's still super bright, but I mean, it's, we'll go back here and I'll dump it up to turbo and you can, you can see here's turbo. Well, it won't do it now because it's been running over a minute. So it's got the cool off. It's pretty, pretty hot in my hand. So what I'm gonna do is uh, turn this off for a minute, let it cool off and I'll start the video then. All right, guys, so we're back. I'm gonna turn it on. All right, the next mode, next mode. There should be one more. All right, this is uh, the second highest besides turbo. I'm gonna double click it, and that's turbo mode. I mean, it's it's really bright. This just this this phone here isn't like a a good camera picking up all the light. But I mean, it's it's lighting up the world. And this is just a little video light. I mean, you just can't ask for better than this. Um, and I wish turbo lasts a little bit longer, but it doesn't. But on the plus side. <laughs> If your hands are cold you can warm them up real quick like another good thing about this uh this little thing is it's waterproof i mean if you outside in the rain the elements you drop it or whatever ain't nothing gonna happen it's still it's under the water now it's it's shining good we turn it off it functions under the water we turn it back on boom it's completely submerged but this light's really cool um, another thing I forgot to mention earlier is, um, so let me see. So say I, I, I have it on moonlight mode right now. Okay. If I turn it off the next time I turn it on, it's going to go back to moonlight mode. So let's say I have it on the, the next mode higher. Okay. So now I turn it back, turn it back on. It goes right back to that same mode. So whatever mode you have it on last, it's going to go back to except for turbo mode. It does not, you know, automatically go to turbo mode. You have to double click it and a triple click um, will be strobe. So, but, so that's a good little thing. It's got a memory in it. So if I wanna, this one right here, if I wanna, want my light on this every time I turn it on, well, I can just, uh, when I turn it on, it's going right back to that mode. So it's a pretty cool little memory feature it has. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to do is just kind of show y'all, you know, what what can be seen with this little bitty light and, and how awesome it is. Um, it's it's a really good light. I don't have nothing bad to say about it. I, like I said, I carry it every day. You never know how much you need a flashlight until you have one every day. Then you can use this sucker for everything. But uh, anyway, look, I, I hope y'all like this video. Um, if it helped you out, if you got any more questions, just let me know. Um, but it, Thanks. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all. All right, guys. So that's uh, pretty much the review. Um, write down in the comments uh, if you liked it, if it helped you any. Um, if you own one of these, uh, let me know what, what kind of lights y'all carry. Um, let me know if you even carry a flashlight or if you want me to try to review any other ones. Um, but I will put a link to this uh, in the description of the video. And, uh, you know, if you would, please like and subscribe. You know, the likes really help the channel grow. It helps... Uh, suggest this to other to other youtubers maybe looking for the old light or different lights as well and i uh, appreciate the support god bless